One of the questions we get asked frequently is how do you rip music from a CD to an MP3 file so that you can use it in Audacity. So we're going to show you how to do that using Windows Media Player. First of all, you open up Windows Media Player. Sometimes you don't see the old style menus. So to get those, you can hold down the control key and press M as in mother and we see our menus. That's helpful to us so that we can then go to Tools in Options and set a few things. We need to click on the Rip Music tag and we need to change a few settings here. First of all, we should make sure that it's going to save the Rip Music in a location that suits us. So if we're on a network, we need to make sure that's our network home folder. In this case, it's going to put it in my music folder. That's okay, because I'm not connected to the network right now. The most important thing is we need to change this format to MP3. Windows Media Files cannot be used in Audacity, so we need to pick MP3 as a format that's compatible. Secondly, an annoying habit of Media Player is that it will rip the CD the moment you insert it. We want to change that, so we take off that checkbox and we click OK. Now I'm going to insert my CD and click on the Rip tab. It usually takes a moment or so for it to recognize the CD and begin to load the tracks that are in it. Once it's loaded the tracks, we need to select the tracks we want to rip. Now, by default, it selects them all. Usually, we only want one or two tracks to use to sample. So, we're going to turn off that. And let's say that we want to rip track 5. We'll check that. And then down in the bottom right-hand corner, we'll click on Start Rip. And that will create our track, in my case, in my My Music folder, and we can use that then and load it into Audacity. When it's done ripping, it'll eject the CD if we left that checkbox checked, and so our display of the rip screen will disappear. But if we go into our music folder, and in this case it didn't recognize the artist, so I've put it in Unknown Artist and Unknown Album, there's track 5, and we can load that into Audacity.